take sugar, I seem to remember, Mr. Allnut. That's right, miss. A couple of spoonfuls. And milk. That's right, miss. Bread and butter. That's right, miss. Butter. Pink. Huh. Just listen to the stomach of mine. The way it sounds, you'd think I had a hyena inside me. <laughs> do have some more bread and butter, Mr. Allnut. Well, thanks, miss. I, I don't mind if I do. Excuse me. Queer thing, ain't it? What I mean is, uh, what do you suppose makes a man's stomach carry on like this? Try a rock cake, Mr. Allnut. All right, miss. Herbie Morton's the bishop. Huh? Uh, who's that, dear? Oh, dear, surely you remember Herbie. Blonde, a bit younger than I am, ruddy-faced. He sang a solo at the commemoration concert. Holy, holy, I think it was. I think I remember. It was so long ago. He's a bishop now. Splendid. Yes, I'd say Harry was a bit younger than me, four or five years. Surprising, really. He wasn't up to much as a student, didn't have more than his share of the social graces. Then, of course, he married well. Oh. Yes. That manufacturer's widow. What was his name? Briggs? Briggs. That was it. Alfred Briggs. Soap flakes, I think. Mrs. Alfred Briggs. Not to take anything away from Herbie. I'm delighted for him, naturally. Of course. Ain't a thing I can do about it. It was holy, holy. More tea, Mr. Allnut? Uh, thank you, no, miss. I reckon not. I'd better be shoving off and get back to the mine before tomorrow night. Don't hurry, Mr. Allnut. Do stay for dinner. Well, thanks, just the same. Oh, uh, 